Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. Today I have a very, very interesting video for you. The Lineage OS 8.0, so the Lineage OS 15. That means Android Oreo on the Samsung Galaxy S6. Let's get to it. What you need to do is to install or if you already have it installed, update to the latest TWRP. Here I have the 3.1.1 version. I'll leave the download links for the Lineage OS zip file and the OpenG apps for Android Oreo in the description below. You should move both these files to your internal storage. I moved them into the download folder. Reboot into TWRP and now go to wipe and make sure you wipe Dalvik, system, data and cache. That is of course if you come from a non-Android Oreo firmware, but I believe that is the case for all of us at the moment. It was just announced so it's not even available for the pixel devices worldwide it's something really nice for this device to be able to install it this early on now go to install and swipe to confirm flash i'd like to tell you right off the bat that the rom is still in pre-beta stage so you have some things working such as the phone the basic functions such as the calls sms and the mobile data also the modems such as wi-fi and bluetooth work the fingerprints and the camera but only if you use it with a different app so not with the stock one after installing you should flash the OpenGFs package. Make sure you respect the order, otherwise you might have problems. As an optional step, you can also install Magisk for roots, but given the early stage of this ROM, I wouldn't suggest it. Maybe you should just flash it as it is and for the next builds, you can try that out as well. There are some incompatibility issues at the moment, so you may just want to keep it simple for now. Of course, you cannot expect the ROM to be as stable as a more refined Nougat or so. You can basically install it on this device even before the S8 has it, so why not? We're almost done with the OpenG apps installation. I'll also link the original XDA thread in the description below. And of course, I'd like to thank the developers for doing this fantastic job. Even if the ROM still has some bugs, it's unbelievable what they were able to do. It looks like it got stuck this point but it says installation complete so I'll try to forcefully reboot the device and then go back to TWRP so I can wipe the Dalvik and cache so take note that if the phone hangs at the OpenG apps installation parts, you can simply forcibly reboot the device and go to TWRP. So here we have the boot animation. Remember, this is not a daily driver, but if you have a secondary Galaxy S6 or if you just want to try it on your main device, I think you should go forward with it. Now just wait for the boot to complete. This may take from like 10 minutes to maybe 20, so you have to be patient. 
the phone has booted up. It didn't take more than five minutes, I think. If you want to switch to numbers, you'll get a force close from the keyboard app. And this means I cannot enter my Wi-Fi password. Let's go forward without internet access. can try it in the fingerprint so we can see if it works. And so it's quite smooth, out of the box. As I said, you cannot take pictures because the SD card is not present. This will probably be solved in the next build. If we go into settings, system, about phone, you can see that we have Android Rio. Security patch level, August 2017, so brand new. This is a build created a couple of days ago, so on 28th of August. does not look as bad as I was expecting it to be, so... Of course it doesn't work without the pattern, yeah, and if I... Yeah, it works right away. Great. So Wi-Fi would work if I could actually write my password here. So the keyboard works just fine, but if you want to switch to numbers, boom, you get a force close. So you might want to change your Wi-Fi password if it has numbers in it, or you can simply stick a SIM card inside the device and go with the mobile data. Connected devices, so Bluetooth works, NFC works. The phone feels pretty nippy, to be honest. Now that it's been started for like five to 10 minutes, it's quite all right. Have some stratum support for additional customization. Not sure how well it works, but it should work just fine. Of course, you will need super user permission to use it. That is why, if you'd like to go forward with this, you should also flash the magisk zip file. Interesting, you can press the home key to launch the app drawer. We have a file zap, email, just about what you would need for a minimalistic install. You can start from here and build the device the way you want it. So 
So this is basically it. The Android Oreo on the Samsung Galaxy S6. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do make sure to press the like button. And if you'd like to see similar videos on my channel, also subscribe by pressing on this square image right here. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. I wish you a great day. Until next time. Bye.